be really on point when it comes to Zombo's impressive amount of frame trap and flow charts. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about all the ways that Rob can be played, and I think that's a testament as to why Rob is so popular lately, is that he can really appeal to just a bevy of different player types. And I think we're definitely going to be seeing that in this match right now. Game one, PS2. We already see Dill taking some space of her own. Bevy. I like that word. <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of that one. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> As we here see uh, Dill start to get going a little bit. Dill, of course, is playing the, the, the classic Rob with the red arms and Zamba playing that more bluish, uh, blue-gray Rob. Mm -hmm. So just slight difference if the tags aren't always on screen. Yeah, those are very similar colors, but Dill rocking those Famicom colors. Famicom, that's the word. That's, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> Bloody arms drop. Punished Rob. Speaking of punish. Yeah, getting the nice jab lock off of just not even doing anything too crazy. He just finds down tilt, jab lock, up smash. Clean stuff, clean kill coming out from Zamba. And now we can see how he does with the lead if... Uh, Dill lets him keep uh, that lead just uh, for much longer. Though 57, that's plenty of extra credit that was put on him. Absolutely. All right. It's the up tilt. Finds the up air. Dill taking that first stock. Only 57%. Coming on to 70. Oh, and lingers with the back air afterwards as well. Looking to keep as much damage as possible. But the side B still connects as Dill looked a little bit early for the punish this, uh, after not choosing the immediate ledge option. Yet the up smash comes in clutch for uh, for Zamba in order to keep this lead as much as possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> and though it didn't connect in that last stock, I really like what Zamba did Ooh, when he did that, when he did that down air. Because, uh, I mean, we've seen so often Dill uh, use the up B to stall her uh, her ledge play and uh, usually come up with a double jump aerial, double jump gyro. And he, he oh, Zamba's hunting for the kill, not trying to use all of his fuel, but it definitely applying so much pressure. And the run under. So many times Dill likes to expect, uh, Dill looks like she expects players to respect Rob's landing space because he has such, uh, because Rob's has such quick buttons. So she comes down here and looks to come at him with a laser and uh, come at Zamba with that laser and use the front hitbox that we saw in just yeah. in that recent clip. It was a B-reverse laser too. Yeah, just surprise him with a, the laser, maybe get that front hit, but Zamba running clean, full sprint right along the stage and right under what Dill, where Dill wanted him to be. Mm -hmm. And it's able to find the punish with yet another up smash. Yeah. Three for three on up smashers. It's a good move. Good move out of 10. Three, two, one, All right, and we're looking at FD, which I do like from Dill. We've talked about it before. Dill, Dill prefers uh, the neutral aspect of Rob more, and that's something that FD really gets you. But Dill has just not gotten a chance to play so far. Zamba's uh, ledge oppression is so difficult to get around. But now... Dill with center stage. Zamba just fighting his way off of the ledge, getting it up air. Alright, All right, now we're looking uh, to see Dill with a ledge sequence of her own, but Zamba ready with the, uh, the Nair to find his way out. That back air is coming in the clutch. As, we, as we've seen a couple times before, Dill not often uh, using Rob's burner and saving uh, saving Rob's jump to saving her jump to push and uh, to push as a sudden offensive tool as we see there. Zamba showing how many times that these two have played, punishing that exact uh, that exact mix up thoroughly. And again, the lingering back or the aggressive back air and twofold. again, <laughs> yeah, just all over the place. Back air is taking stocks left and right, but. It's so far been mostly in the favor of Zamba because he's willing to go out there and push where Dill is a little bit uncomfortable and where basically she just really doesn't want Zamba to be at that time. <laughs> Which is great on Zamba for being able to pick his spot so thoroughly. I 
nice. I like, uh, there we go. Dill trying to fight her way off with some double jump hitboxes. Nice patience. And it's, it's been looking rough for Dill, but I mean, we've seen her pull, pull these situations out before. Uh, yeah, there's no shortage of tools that Dill has at her disposal to, to bring this back in any, in any uh, manner as they're, this is the ditto. These are dittos, everybody. Sometimes just you have good options across the board. As a, Zomba was able to use the burner to use the boost to find enough space to get his nair out, which allowed him to come down for uh, come down against the aggressive Dill. As Dill's edge guarding has been uh, getting snuffed out by Zomba. Uh oh, he sussed out that uh, that air dodge. But didn't go for the down throw at 143. What could Zamba be looking for? Is Dill is really running out of fuel now. Has to use this back air. He like, has no fuel, but it comes down with Nair all the same as Zamba falls at 180. Oh, this is skip. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. GG's. Well played. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> yeah, that's a. That's a. A struggle and a half to be sure when it comes to just that massive deficit. Like you're at 170 and and Zamba had a chance to put you in a in a linchpin scenario. Like at 140, it's really hard to mash out. That up smash is usually pretty confirmed afterward. Mm -hmm. uh, but Zamba didn't go for it. So you take that stock and you said, All right. I I, I, I got what I wanted. Yeah, I don't I don't think I I don't think that this is a winning spot for me. So, yeah, and I mean, especially this late into bracket, you know, 